every time I go out, I'm like, okay, let me get a cute little Instagram picture. And once I don't like it with the filter, I just don't want to leave the house. I'm like, why do I look like that? Everything that was presented to us was like, Thin, tall, blonde. If you were not that, you were not it. Yeah. Some people are like, you're not fat, or you, you're not chubby, or you're not. And I'm like, okay, I know I'm not, but I'm comparing myself to the best version that I have felt of myself. Don't be coming to me with that gym shit. Like, I like someone that's like, let's go for a walk. Walk the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to the ice cream place. Yes. yes. <laughs>
Speaking I'm wearing of, her ring. Yeah, All right, exactly. so it's, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it did it's just the get hot in here. The, the, have you guys heard about the temperature, the hottest days in yeah. temperature in the We're US like history. breaking records. I thought it was always this hot. It's not global warming. I've seen a video like in Arizona, cars are literally like melting, like things are melting out there. Do you know what my friend said? That in Florida, the water is 100 degrees. The ocean. The ocean? Do you know how scary that is? That is really like, even scary. Even if you want to run to some sort of safety to cool off it, you don't there's none you can't. so you catch on fire that's the end of the world bible <laughs> book of revelations i don't know revelations. Well, on that note cheers ladies i'm so happy cheers everybody cheers. 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 our final days god i'm ready to the final days Come to the final days but wouldn't Here, you want to spend your last days on earth with your homegirls yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, if this is it, and I'm all right. What would you guys do? Like, if, if somebody was like, you have, like, 24 hours to really live it up, like, what would you guys do? Okay, and you I'm can do anything in the world. With your homegirl. <laughs> Freezing your eggs? No, I'm calling my ex. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Freezing yeah. your eggs. I'm unblocking him and letting him know you ain't shit. No, uh, you're going to tell him you love him. Probably, yeah, you know me. Yeah, yeah, you're going to keep it positive. Okay, if you had 24 hours left on earth, what would you do? Honestly, my family is really fun, so oh, I'm just going to kick it with my family. We're going to party. And I'm from Florida, so we had a lot of hurricanes. So you so can't we had a lot of moments water. where we're like, is this it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. It. So. I would probably eat like some really good um, steak. Exactly. Eat something oh, delicious. Yeah. Listen yeah. to some like good the music. Best steak. Yeah. Well, I mean, one I last feel like, kiss. I feel like it would get to me though. I'd be like, wow, what's going to happen in like 24 hours? I'd try to enjoy it, but oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of anxiety. I can't sit there and say I'm going to comfortably eat a steak. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm all like, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like putting the sauce on it, like, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ivana, oh what gosh. are you doing? I, I, I really. You asked the question. I know. I, I was I, I, I was thinking about all these fun things, and I was like, if, if it was really happening, I would be like, no! Like, so sad. Yeah. But I think probably. Didn't you guys feel this during COVID? Like, when it first happened? No, no that first. That Maybe first, for like a day, I felt After like the three week mark, it was like, oh, wait a minute. This is real. This it's is like real. an acopolis. The yeah. first wait, thing. I also. I just want to shout out to the apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah. What apocalypse. Are you I want to shout out to the audience who has been watching us. Oh, like, yeah. Thank you for Francesca watching Francesca is one of the people that is, is that. And we want, we see Started you guys asking about our signs. Let's yeah. go. Started from the comments now. Here. Here. Ah. Started from the comments. Talk to the nice and it might happen for you. <laughs> right. Say something. Yeah. No, so we're talking, about, we're talking about, they're asking about our signs. And so I'm mm. curious. You're Capricorn. Capricorn. Wait, let's do the big three. Capricorn and I've never taken like the test. I really okay. don't know what this my is. This is the SATs of life. <laughs> I'm not tapped into like my astrology, like that okay. astronomy. Yeah, and astrology. Astrology. <laughs> yeah. I took astrology in college, or maybe it was it's astronomy. astronomy. Yeah. That's do you where know where Jupiter is? Because I took astronomy Jupiter. in college. Do you know all the? Yeah, I know where Jupiter is. That, where is it? The you know where the brightest star in the sky, is right it? next to the North Star. Not yeah. Saturn. No, it's Jupiter. Okay. Do you know yeah. where Uranus know that. is? Don't play with me. It's in my back butt. It's in your back butt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys I, have learned about front butts. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Gemini <laughs> sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Taurus Venus, oh, wow. Mars Aries. So there's a lot of crying going on. I cry a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, cried yeah. last night. Why? I be sad sometimes. I don't, I don't, don't put it on to the world. Because somebody didn't text me back. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> People uh, are sensitive these no, days. No, it's a little bit deeper. I don't want to take up the whole hour, but somebody was mean to me and I'm crying. Okay. But I'm, it's, you know, it's always, an, it was also like a big, um, super Aquarius full moon, so I had to let go stuff. And I'm just like letting go parts of my old self. So uh, what does that mean, Aquarius full moon? The full moon's today. The full moon's oh, yes, today. Mm -hmm. So yeah. today, go out, look at the moon. It's no, going to be pretty. No, it's like there's 30 days out of the month, okay? <laughs> so and that then, was also an astrology. No, I mean, okay. listen, what did you get in listen, that class? There's 30, Horribly, listen, because there's, there's a lot of math. There's 30 yeah. days in the month, right? A moon has a full cycle, just right. like we have a full cycle. That's why we get our peas right. once a month. Okay. So when there's a no moon or a full moon, or a, when it's a new moon, right. there's it's no like little. moon. It's just like a little, it's, it's like, like a starting to form. Mm -hmm. And then as the days go by, it gets it gets fuller and fuller and fuller until it's a full moon. Which and what is does today. that, and that That's affects like your mood? Day. Yeah. So th when they say, set your intentions on the new moon, you say, okay, so it, it's a fresh start. It's a new moon. I have oh. these six, seven things that I want to accomplish by the full moon. So and like then, top of the month, new month, yeah, new yeah, energy. Yeah, and it's actually yeah. really connected to our system, yeah. our bodies. A lot of people get their peas on their full moon. Yeah. Like it's very, like I the did. energy is so strong. It's yeah. all energy. I had no idea about it's any of this. It's all science. It's, it's Wait, I did know there's like something as like moon water. Have you guys heard that? Like when there's like a full moon, you set like some water out in your yeah. balcony and Crystals. then you let it recharge it. Because I don't believe in any of that, but I've heard. No, but no. the moon, it, it's not believing in it or not. It's just energy. It's, it's literally mm. actually energy. Yeah. Like our body, okay. like we're energy. The moon is, it's really strong. That's why it lights up the whole sky. 
that's why the water gets in the, mm. in the ocean get, starts moving more so it's just kind of like a cycle of life that's mm. natural for mother nature you said oh. that way better than i would thank you yeah, yeah. that was really <laughs> well explained so I, that's what it is I, it has nothing to do I, with like hocus pocus spirituality yeah. it's real life it's science it's, it's real like energy the sun and the moon and the stars and the skies it's it's okay it's the universe and it's that's what universe. we are we're made out of we Adam. are the universe. Isn't we that are, weird to think we, about, our guys? Our bodies are the universe. We're made of the same things as everything in the universe. And you know why? That's why That's going to the topic of like what we're talking about today is like we're all perfect in our own selves just because we're made out of like stardust. We're made out of the atoms. We're, we're, we can't help what we look like, but we have to learn how to love ourselves Ooh. with whatever Isn't we that have. crazy? Yeah. Like, Wait, yeah. before we get off topic, you didn't you finish your signs and then we're going to talk about us. I am a Cancer, Libra rising, Taurus something. Taurus moon. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. And what are you? I am a Libra sun, Cancer moon, and Aries rising. Oh. I think I'm sense. a Cancer moon. I think somebody yeah, told me that once. You're a Cancer moon because I remember we talked about how we we're compatible. Wait, I we all have compatible moon signs. Yeah. Interesting. Our power. signs are kind of opposite. Yeah. That's, that's why, why we get along so well. Yeah. I believe in the astrology stuff. Yeah, do. you do. I, I do. I feel like it helped me understand myself. I mean, everything better. is just tools, right? It's like mm-hmm. everything that you, in you life. You eat the meat and you spit out the life, bones, you know? Mm-hmm. But when you, start, you started in radio. <laughs> it's a tweet. Like you started yeah. in radio, you did all these things. They're just tools that you're acquiring for whatever you're going into the future. Wait, to wait. better understand ourselves, you know? Okay. It has nothing to do with like choosing black or white. Mm-hmm, it's just, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Re- yeah. Take what resonates tools. with you. So everybody, make sure you drop your zodiac signs in the group chat so we can judge you. Um, <laughs> put it in the comments. Anyways. Speaking of women, why do you feel like it's easier to compliment other women than it is to like be nice to yourself? Like, do you ever find yourself like on your way out? Like, I know every time I go out, I'm like, okay, let me get a cute little Instagram picture. And once I don't like it with the filter, I just don't want to leave the house. I'm like, why do I look like that? (laughs) I mean, there's layers to this. You know, I mean, if you grew up in the 90s, which I did, everything that was presented to us was like, Thin, tall, blonde. If you were not that, you were not it. You yeah. were not shown. You were not represented Straight at all. Straight hair. Straight hair. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys don't know the work I have done on my hair mm. with myself. And yeah. it's like, it's crazy. all Same. because we've been programmed to think certain things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, not to sound too fluffy duffy, but it really is that. We were programmed to believe that a certain thing was better than the other. Yeah. yeah. And now I think we're just undoing it. I think it has really so much to do with internally, like loving yourself. Because there's so many moments in your life where you could just do the inner work and, and everything from the outside just is beautiful just because you feel beautiful inside. You're right. I know it sounds so corny it sounds and corny, so stereotypical, but it's, but it's true. true. Do you think times have gotten better, though, in regards to that? I feel like I it has just because so. of social media now. It's I like, feel like I see a lot more representation of the black and brown girls. I Both. even feel a it's lot like, more yeah. prettier. Like I don't feel like I have to be a certain thing anymore. I just have to like really be confident. Mm-hmm. Which I think that on. there's more exposure to different body types, so different sad. skin colors, different nationalities and stuff. But I also think that there's like so much judgment and yes. like the filters mm-hmm. and the plastic surgery and the Botox and the fillers, like all these things like we're trying to just... I mean, there's so many. We're trying to keep up with each other, there. and the issues is like I feel like sometimes even as women, we can't even keep up with ourselves because we we were all taking. I was taking videos earlier with the filter, like not even gonna lie, like the VHS one, and I'm like, wow. And I actually looked at you, and I was like, girl, do I look like this in person? You get so self conscious because you, guys, you she can't does. even. She does. She, she looks like this gorgeous. in real life. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but you you get self conscious about that because you get so used to seeing yourself on social media, like maybe with the filter or maybe like a little bit edited, and you get like self conscious all the time. It's like can't even keep up with yourself sometimes it feels like I think the first time I used the filter I put it on and I didn't like it like I didn't feel prettier the first time and then I also no I don't ever use them because I you they really I just don't like them and I don't want to also like mess with my brain you know because I I know that that happens (laughs) that'd be on that filter I'd be like and I, I tell myself like oh it's just me with makeup online so it's not hard it's harmless you're right but it's then when not I take it off i'm like oh my god where did all this double chin come from <laughs> um it'd be yeah. so crazy i'd be so mean to myself i've gotten really mean to i myself. feel i feel like when you when it comes to criticizing ourselves like we each have a standard for ourselves yeah and some people are like you're not fat or you're, you're not chubby or you're not like and i'm like okay i know i'm not in the grand scheme of things but I'm comparing myself to the best version that I have felt of myself. Mm -hmm. Like when I am healthy and I am fit and I am putting in the work to feel good. Because when you feel good, you can feel it. Like it's surging through your body. You start glowing from it. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I'm critical. I just know 
like when I feel the best, when I'm the healthiest and I want to get there and I'm not there. You nailed it because you're right. Sometimes I feel weird saying out loud like, oh gosh, I feel like I gained weight because then, yeah, you have people that are like, yeah, well, I think you look great. And it's like, I totally get that. I'm not saying I don't, I, I think I look, you know, good, but I know I'm not at the best of my potential. And that's every, we're all on our own compare. We're like, we're comparing ourselves to what we know we could be or what we've been in the past. You know what I mean? I definitely, um, I've gained a lot of weight. Um, I know, I know you're gonna tell me I'm beautiful, stop. Um, I've gained a lot of weight you and are. it's really, thank you. Yeah, you are. you are. We'll have you back on the podcast, I like that energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I think it was like post pandemic, I know during the pandemic I gained 20 pounds, but then I just never like went back to the gym. And now I'm at 200, you can't tell because a lot of it is in my butt. I know, that's what I know. And your I know. butt is very, I just want to say, it's you guys don't butt. see it on camera, yeah, but it's like, incredible. it Stop is it incredible. It you is can eat a meal on it in the best way possible. But you can like, it, it has its own zip code. Her back butt is amazing. But then I just feel like I'll go shopping, like especially I've, ha I've been having a lot of issues when I go shopping for like outfits for the episode, because I'm like, you know, I'm still by coastal and I'm still like packing my bags and I've been back and forth. But I don't have like a lot of like my staple items. So then when mm -hmm. I go shopping, I'm like nothing fits. And I def I had a meltdown in the fitting room a few weeks ago. Don't laugh at me. I'm not a comedian, but I'm serious. I was crying up in there. Like first of all, this light is ugly. Do you want me to buy all this outfit or not? Light? The no. light at TJ Maxx. I will oh, never try anything on it that's going ever again in my life. Yeah. The lighting in those fitting rooms, oh, you guys. You can see. Every, Every little I, I wrinkle, crinkle, right. stretch mark. I find myself sometimes like poking my like, get like poking what? things out of my face, and it's like, girl, try the clothes on. Like you off. would sell right. so much more clothes if you just, just fix dim the, the light, light in there. Yeah. We don't need to see everything. <laughs> but right, <Yeah. laughs> it's so right. true. Dim the light. No, but I've been having a lot of issues like with my weight right now. That's why I was like, you know, for this episode, I'm gonna show other parts of my body because I love myself. Mm -hmm. But it's also like what you wear. Like I've, I started to learn that as you get a little bit more mature in your woman years like you have a little to, thicker sometimes you, yeah you yeah. find like you what works yeah what works for you and I, i'm just having a hard time but i love myself i love myself i'm just having a hard time understanding what's happening and i'm like okay is there like an underlying health issue whatever mm -hmm. i'm like so i'll let you know in three weeks when i go to the doctor i think like with <laughs> every woman there's like ebbs and flows with their bodies like i fluctuate so, so. much like i will look back <sighs> in, at a moment in my life where i thought i was over like chubby and i've looked so skinny and i'm like wait at that moment I was so hard on myself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I'm but then I look at myself now and I think it has really so much to do with internally like loving yourself because mm -hmm. there's so many moments in your life where you could just do the inner work and and everything from the outside just is beautiful just because you feel beautiful inside you're right I know it sounds so corny it sounds and corny, so stereotypical but it's, but it's true, true. It's no, but true. once you start doing it you make it a practice you're like yeah. oh this does work yeah. I have to do, I have to unlearn what I've been telling myself my whole life. It's so exactly. true. I'm working on it. I don't know exactly. that's working. No, I and I don't I, fit into anything. Right and now. I think I remember I said this no. like one time on another podcast. <laughs> well, what did you say? <laughs> But I was like, yeah. dude, like imagine if you, the voice in your head was like a roommate you were living you did with. Say that. And I was like, and all the whole time you're just like saying like no, glory. That's what like I said that that's what the first chapter of the book that I read was. Remember that book that you didn't finish. And then yeah, I think yeah. I repeated untamed, it. Yeah, the, un, the untamed soul. <laughs> no, to untethered soul. Oh, that was the God. first chapter about like really? imagine if the bad thing you're you said right. in your head was your roommate sitting Nami next to you. taking credit for that. You would never. <laughs> You would be a <laughs> genius. Mommy like, taking like, credit for that moment. Like, almost I mean, she's like, oh, oh, she's like God, actually, God. I said that and I read that book. <laughs> no, I didn't say it. I just read that book. <laughs> Mommy's right saying, now. I think I had mentioned this earlier, but. No. Yo, yo. And I think like, really, you watched the TikTok about it. <laughs> wait, wait. I want to know. I want to know. But talk to yourself nights. Nice. When, you, when it comes to other women, do you find yourself like, like I, I, I guess it's a little bit harder in LA because everyone's in their car. But in New York, whenever I see like a woman that looks really beautiful, especially when she's black or brown and she has braids, I always let her know like you look good are you guys honest with your friends too though if like something doesn't look good or yeah. like whatever my friend look I appreciate my friend that tells me baby you're not a medium anymore and that's a hard conversation a medium. oh my god that's really hard yeah because I'm a I'm a I'm an extra oh, large medium yeah oh not a medium a me <laughs> medium I thought no, you're like yeah you're <laughs> not <laughs> you're like you're right <laughs> no I sometimes look when were you, you sure you don't believe in the stars yeah. 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 your brain was there <laughs> But yeah. That's what I was thinking. I thought she was like a medium no, no, at no. some point. Sometimes when you go shopping with your friends, you gotta let them know, like politely, baby. I don't. You can try the small if you want, mm -hmm. but I think a medium might fit you, fit you better. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know you have real friends. Like my friend, she's like, yo. Sometimes you gotta try the two X. I mean, for me, that starts at my house. Like, 
my mom will tell me in a heartbeat if I look chubby, if I should. Like, I'm gonna say, no, that's tu a little pelo, different. Tu cuerpo, like everything. She just tells like it, no, if I'm getting chubby, my sisters will tell me. If I'm if I look unhealthy, my, like they will tell me off bat. So I never took it offensively because I was like, okay, well they love me. They know when I look good. They know when I look, you know, when I'm not taking care of myself. My mom will tell me this. There was a moment when I was like really eating unhealthy in college again, like this freshman 15, and I was partying. I just wasn't healthy. And my mom was like, you don't love yourself. And I was like, what? Dude, Colombian She's moms like, you don't, don't love care. yourself. I'm like, yes, I do. She's like, if you that, loved yeah. yourself, you wouldn't be eating that. You wouldn't be drinking that. You'd be working out. You wouldn't be sitting around and just, what are you doing? You're wasting your, your, your youth, your life. And I was like, I do love myself. Whatever. And I walk away, roll mm-hmm. my eyes. And then I would sit in my room and be like, He's kind of right. You're right. Yeah. Like, I'm not taking care of this, of myself. It's like know? a vessel that God I'm gives you. I'm having fun, mm-hmm. but I'm like poisoning my body. And I I'm say, not feeling I well. know that I've gained weight because I am not, I just haven't had the chance to like take care You've of myself. You've been traveling so much. I've been How traveling. You, you know? I'm stressed out. You have my no routine. cycle, yeah, my mm-hmm. cycle is all over the place. I'm just mm-hmm. like, I'm still breaking up. You know, I'm going over two heartbreaks right now. Um, it's just a lot. So I know that I've gained weight eating all that ice cream. Okay, so what is, if you can have, <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay with it because I love myself regardless. Yeah, she, she really I does. really do. How, what have you done to be so confident in yourself? And like, because you really mm-hmm. do, I mean. I do. I think we all love ourselves to a certain extent, but like you are, I mean. You're you the embodiment well of yourself. It. I'm fascinated you might, with myself. You, you might as well just. I, have I think that you recognize like the that. things yeah. you don't like, but you're still like, but with yeah. all this, I still. There's nothing you can do. You can either sit in the moment and be like, dwell, like, oh my God. Or you can be like, hey, this, I always say to myself, this is where you are right now. How do you get to the next step? Mm-hmm. I can't, I just can't lose 20 pounds tomorrow, mm-hmm. but I can start putting things into effect that I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, it's not about anybody else, but for myself. Cause I just want to like put, wear my titties out more. Mm-hmm. So that it's just for that. Right. But. How did you get to that, though? Huh? How did you get to that? I think it was stand-up. Like, stand-up, you have to force yourself to deal with yourself. Like, I'm dealing with all of my traumas every day. Like, I'm listening to my set every single day. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I have to go up there being confident. Mm. Now, one thing that I'm having an issue with, I don't put my stand-up clips because I don't like the way I look sometimes in these videos. Mm. So I'm still dealing with that. See, that's something. It's a it's an issue. I'm like I don't post any of my videos. I'm like, did you stop doing stand up? No, I don't like the way I look right now. Mm-hmm. So, but it's that's just, the thing with Instagram. It's like you're only posting your highlight reel, mm-hmm. right? And so then that's what then the next step is is like, well, I'm not gonna do it either. And then now we're only posting the best thing we can come up with. So the true. Seven, and then it yeah. took us 700 pictures to get to the one, right? And then everybody's seeing just that just one. That they don't one. see the 700, so mm-hmm. then they're comparing themselves to, to that, that one. one. Like yeah. for me, and for me, Francesca has one of the most beautiful bodies I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just naturally Dominican. I mean, in all ways. But you also have had moments where you don't feel good enough. And I'm like, Child, Francesca, the way my body my, dysmorphia is set up. During, during no, during COVID, she got like. Why you gotta bring this up? The most, be- like she was, she got <laughs> thicker in the most beautiful, in my eyes, the most beautiful way in the world. Like thicker, just like in a healthier way. Like she was just indulging, having fun. Like, you know, we couldn't go out on the streets, so we were working out. <laughs> but I saw her like in every form, just, I've seen her in every, in every form. And it's the most beautiful thing in the world to me because I know her soul and it doesn't matter because she's so confident in her love toward everybody. So I'm like, this is amazing because she rocks it. Even if, like, I think that for me, it's so important that wherever you're at in, in your in your journey with your body, just to be confident in your spirit and who you mm-hmm. are. And then when you do that, everyone else feels that. It doesn't so matter. True. You can wear a trash bag. You can look. And people, so and true. if you're happy and you're showing your energy, people are attracted to that. So yeah. true. But if you are feeling, you know, if you're, if you're. The worst thing is, is when you look at a picture and you're like, wow, I look beautiful. Right. And you think back to that day and you're like, I felt like crap. Yeah. I do that I all talked all the time. so nasty to myself all day. And so now I'm completely trying to do the opposite. Even when I don't yeah. feel good, I'm like, you look great, girl. And I just want to say, mm. as someone that's a little bit thicker, sometimes it's just you don't know your angles. That's all that it comes down to. I'm like, I need to learn how to work the camera because sometimes it's just an angle. Like, you look fine. The uh, apple is just against you right now. But if you can just put it in the right angle, you're going to be fine. Because mm-hmm. yeah. we are really mean. I am so mean to myself. I don't even post on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's why I just post tweets. I'm like, you don't need to see my face. Just, but, uh, just remember the last time you thought I was beautiful. That's why I look like. <laughs> that's where I think that when you said that if the 90s is better than now, like I, that's where I think it's it's bad because the comparison that you there's all these women on Instagram like six uh, six packs mm-hmm. I mean they're doing the work it's incredible it's inspiring and you don't feel that way then that's when you start comparing yourself in a way you're and like, sometimes you know, it's not even natural it's not sometimes real. it's edited yeah. sometimes it's plastic surgery whatever it might be and again I'm like not a 
you know, people can do what they want in regards to plastic surgery. But again, like a lot of it isn't natural. So if you aren't born that way, like don't be so hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. And also you've seen those videos of like influencers where they're posing. It's all the angle, like, the, the lighting. Angle, and That's then they're I'm like, saying. this is actually what it is. Or these are just the type of leggings I'm wearing at the gym. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I love influencers like that. Or like Me content too. creators like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, that is so real. It's just real. It's and just you like real. find yourself just chuckling at it. You're like, wow, that was so dumb of me to or do like, that. We all yeah. do that. We all have like a little trick. Like for me, I wear two fajas sometimes. <laughs> like today, I have two fajas. One of them is a post-surgery faja. That's Colombian. Like, yeah, I've never had a surgery. Colombian fajas are the best. <laughs> Shout yeah. out. Them, them things will, like, I, you know when you get nervous when you have to go like, I, I don't mind like looking like this, but sometimes you have like an event where you know you're going to run into like someone that you haven't seen in years. Mm -hmm. So one time I went to like a wedding and I was like, oh my God, I don't want these people to see me and like think I let myself go. So I bought the faja and baby, that faja took up 10 years. Years. Yes. <laughs> Ten years of the trauma. <laughs> I want to be the person that gets up super early in the morning and goes on a run. Like when you show up as yourself, your mental health, no matter what, goes up. That's why I'm such a big believer in like morning routines. Breathe, pray, whatever it is that you want. Go on a run, man. Like show up as the woman you want to be. Which comes to the topic of plastic surgery and in plastic in like enhancements of the body. Do you guys do? You, do you believe in that? Do you do it? Do you Look, for a long time I was like, I want to be natural, but baby, the way that my stomach is going. I I don't mind getting a little <laughs> suckish. <laughs> Yeah. It's also yeah. very big in our Dominican culture. Yeah. Like you and Colombian like, and you Mexican. Blink and you see your aunt, you're yeah. like, whoa. It was, <laughs> but it was like before this became a mainstream thing. I remember like my aunt would be like, I'm going to DR. We all knew that she was going to get a tummy yeah. tuck. Like Everybody. it wasn't like a secret. And now yeah. it's like a thing. It's like, it was like a rite of passage. And that's it's, what my it's mom my said turn. Once. This yeah. is for me like, I need a tummy tuck. For me, when it comes to that stuff, I don't judge because I think that if you. If you if, if if the way you see yourself in the mirror, you don't like a certain thing and you and you wanna fix it or enhance it and it's making you feel better and you happier, then go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. There's there's a fine line between that and then going overboard and like having a, a dysmor like body dysmorphia. Like, do you remember that girl Heidi? I don't like bringing up names. Remember the O C there was yeah. this girl Heidi she was Heidi so beautiful. Oh, like yes, yes, yeah, yes. and then she did like so much surgery mm -hmm. and I think it's, I always thought she was gorgeous without mm -hmm. the surgery. I'm like, I think, like you said, like, if you want to do it because you feel like you, it's just going to make you more confident or feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. go for it. But if you're doing it for external validation, I can only imagine it was like the first time she was probably on TV and mm -hmm. she didn't like the way she looked. It's a lot of pressure. It's just kind of like, I'm always big on the fact, like, don't, I don't want to do anything that's irreversible. So, you know, I could, you know, there are some things I was thinking about that I was like, you know what, that's Sometimes irreversible. it feels like a slippery slope. That's what I was going to say. You it can know? get addicting. Mm -hmm. And like, as a believer, I think that God definitely did make us a specific way. And I think the issue is, is like, sometimes we want to control things that are out of our control. There's things you can do to make your, to better your body, mm -hmm. which is eating healthy, working out. Obviously, it's harder said than done. But to try to fix it, to put a Band-Aid on the issue by but going what, to get a surgery. But what about people that they work their butts off literally and they don't have a butt? And of they course, want a that's, butt. A that's a different scenario. Or, but I know that, like, for example, I've seen people in my family who got, like, the lap band surgery where they, like, cut mm. your stomach. It's, now it's the size of your fist. And then post-surgery, their, their lifestyle doesn't, doesn't align doesn't with match. what you just did to your body. And so it's like now I'm watching run, people run to the bathroom and throw up mid-meal because it's just not aligned. And so I think that's the real issue. Like, you I have think a to lot of it is here. Mm -hmm. Like, you, yeah, it has to be like a full trans, you know, transformation, including your mind, you know, your habits, yeah. things like that, because you're right, like the maintenance. I mean, you, you know, because your dad is an incredible doctor, like the maintenance after has to align with what you're doing. A lot doing. of people think it's an easy fix and they yeah. come, they're like, okay, well, I'm gonna get lipo and my life is gonna change. And then two months after, their, their, their lifestyle didn't change and they're gaining weight and they're blaming it on, they're like, well, that didn't work. It's like because you have to, you have to match your outside and your inside. You have mm -hmm. to love yourself, take care of yourself, and that's going to show on the outside. But you can't just have easy fixes. Cutting mm -hmm. corners never works. Yes. Yeah. So so there's ever, some people that works. are just not shaped certain ways, you know, yeah, and, and then they fine. want more, which that's totally, yeah. I totally get that. I mean, that's I like totally what makeup that, yeah. is. Like makeup, mm -hmm. makeup, we're all beautiful, and we just use a little blush to enhance the the features it mm -hmm. has nothing to do with changing your face we're just enhancing, enhancing. the parts that we already mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. if you, mascara is making it a little longer lip gloss shiny lips blush just enhancing things that have been been there since the beginning of time mm -hmm. the egyptians started makeup so it's nothing there's nothing wrong with feeling good looking good you know yeah. I, I have no problem with that but you have to do the work internally just as much as you if you're going to mm -hmm. do it on the outside it's so can, I, the point there. can i say something that i noticed about hollywood 
Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I feel like in LA, like a lot of some of these jobs are kind of, um, they are kind of, what's the word? They are contingent on how you look sometimes. Like I noticed like a lot of some of my other friends, like I'm a comedian, so I'm gonna show up how I show up and I get paid to just be myself. <laughs> but I know that some people have to maintain a certain aesthetic mm -hmm. so that they can be, do you ever feel like there's a pressure to, to look yeah, a certain way to sure. maintain like relevancy or you know youthfulness so you could get booked for stuff? Well, I will say something that the job, when I have booked a job, the auditions that I, what, how I looked in auditions is my most healthiest, mm. most fit. And because of that, I feel the most confident yeah. and I'm free. Mm. I'm not worried about how my arm looks. I'm not worried about how I look. I'm just free to be. Yeah. And that's when the audience gets to see that and they're like, okay, that Because you're focused on She's your line. You're focused I'm, on I'm your working on, I'm, I'm focused on, on the story, on, on, mm. on expressing myself authentically, you know, living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. I'm not focused on how does my chin look right now? How does this so look? True. So it takes away. It's like when you feel good, then you look good, not yeah. because physically, it's because your energy. You yeah, know what I mean? Dude. So like that should be the driving force for everybody. That's so real. Even like when I go on runs, obviously running sucks, okay? Mm -hmm. It is painful, it is awful, it is boring, but running for whatever reason, it's like I when I'm running, I'm like, I know I'm doing this for my future self because mm -hmm. when I'm done with a run, you guys, seriously. You feel so good. Like my <laughs> mental health is up, my I'm flush, like my high. skin is red, yep. and I'm just like, you know, the sweat is dripping off. I feel so, and not even just that, you're showing up as a person you want to be. And that's, this is something that like I've learned is if you get up, you do your bed in the morning, right? You drink your water, you have your vitamins, you, you do all these things in the morning. You in, in your own mind, you're feeling amazing about yourself because it's like, look at me, I'm showing up as the person I want to be. I yeah. want to be the person that gets up super early in the morning and goes on a run. Like this is when I see people doing that online, it, it I want to be that person. So when you show up as yourself, your mental health, no matter what goes up, that's why I'm such yeah. a big believer in like morning routines. And I always suggest that to girls who are feeling maybe depressed or anxious, yes. which I felt, I'm like, get up in the morning, like get up even before the sun comes up, mm -hmm. breathe, pray, whatever it is that you want, go on a run, man, like show up as the woman you want to be. That's why I'm putting the all over the place. Cause the I don't work. have a morning routine right now. I'm just waking up like, oh my God. Girl, but even what if you side of the coast am I on? I know, I know, <laughs> even if you and I don't, get that. If you yeah, move your that. body, Body, like moving your body is releasing trauma oh yeah. like yeah. it all gets stuck can I say something yeah. yesterday I went to yoga hot yoga in the morning for the first time in probably a year it's called like Brickham Brickham it, or something there's like different ones it was like hot Vinyasa. Vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. LA has no yeah. job on you. I've never been. Yeah. I, just, I used to work. I, I used to walk by I went yeah. I went early in the morning I just went in I had no idea I came in late I was like oh god by the end of the hour, I felt like a whole different human, like yeah. the most clear headed, present. The rest of my day flowed because I would just like I had this like just really light feeling in my body because I, I took an hour to just be centered, to breathe and to connect with myself and to think about things, but not be like thinking about it. And also on my phone, making breakfast, drinking coffee, yes. trying to figure things out, um, texting, yeah. you know, it's well, just because like, when you take care of your amazing. physical fitness, it's the only thing that you can do where if you try to look at if you try to look at the clock on the wall you if can't. you try to look at your phone you're gonna fall over yeah. yeah you're gonna topple over while you're running and it's like that's that one hour of just mental silence to, does wonders for wonders. us yeah. wonders wonder you, you you would be surprised how little it takes to have a good day mm -hmm. yeah. and like, i always pray in the morning and it's things I that you can water. control because yeah. mm -hmm. look how many times happen things happen to you ivana where you're like that's so out of my control that's annoying that person sent me an annoying email or you some you know one of your friends being annoying or whatever yeah. like yeah. how many times do we go <laughs> <laughs> accurate that happens every day <laughs> how many times do we like literally experience things on the daily that it's like gosh like that's so annoying that's happening but what about the things that we can control that will literally boost us like crazy right, do, I gotta do, you guys, oh, do you guys think that men like feel or think the same way that we do when it comes to bodies? Yes. I think they I have, do. <laughs> yeah, I have yes, a friend absolutely. that's a huge, really? he's so mm -hmm. into personal training and like he always is, he's like, whenever you're ready, I'll be here. And I'm like, I'll let you, like I hear people tell me what to do at the gym because I'm insecure, mm -hmm. but I, I'm like, okay, whenever I need your help, I'll let you know, like, when do I take chlorophyll or like whatever, mm -hmm. whatever these. <laughs> I have chlorophyll yeah, every I morning. I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. But I think that they also, <laughs> I think the gym could be, regardless of your gender, I think it could be like you were saying about just being inside of your body right. for like a moment 
and it's bigger than just i think we talk a lot of spirituality on this mm -hmm. podcast but it's bigger than what other people think is just how are you taking your care of yourself on the planet today yeah. whatever that looks like for you mm -hmm. so that's why i'm trying to get more into the gym i'm like it's not about losing weight even though i can't wait to fit into something skankier <laughs> but it's about like i want to take care of myself especially like what's your ideal body for yourself I, feel, you're, I don't know if you guys know this girl. Her name is Joey Chavez. Ch I don't know her last name. Oh, Joy Chavez. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, on yeah. Instagram. Mm -hmm. She's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. She used to date Little Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and she, <laughs> yeah, she, I know. But she, I think she has such a beautiful body. Like, but she, she works does. out and she mm -hmm. takes care of herself. Like, I love myself. I just got to get rid of this area mm -hmm. and, like, this thing. That's going on in my <laughs> not this oh, thing. Yeah. And it's like her shoulders. Yeah. Like, like, get rid of her like, shoulder. Oh. <laughs> On that shoulder with like no Nothing. shoulders. No, I love look, I love my body and I understand that God, like he shaped me like an hourglass. I just he wanna get back you. there. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm giving full cup, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get back yeah. to that. You see that hourglass back there? That's what I wanna look like. Wait, I wanna ask yeah. though, Saul, because I know can we get you on camera? Real yeah, quick. Awesome. yeah. Okay, I want to because I want to ask because you did bring up the male thing, yeah, yes. which I think is so important because I feel like a lot of the times women were hard on ourselves. Sometimes we're even hard on other women. Like mm -hmm. a lot of the online bullying that happens, a lot of times is from other women, unfortunately. But for men, what do you feel like in regards to like body image? Do you guys put as do you think guys put as much pressure on on yourselves as you do as you think girls do on ourselves? I think secretly because I don't think it's a public link thing that guys like to talk about. Because it is like a huge insecurity because everybody wants, every guy wants to be the alpha, big, strong guy. So they try to just kind of ignore that conversation. But deep down, they're like, I wish I can be bench a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah. it's not something they really talk what, about. What are much. the biggest insecurities do you think for men? For girls, obviously, it's like you want a big, a big butt, a small waist, whatever uh, it might be like. I know what? a big one. It's um legs, legs for sure, yeah. for sure. Because that's the that. thing. My ex has some chicken legs. Exactly, oh. girls. That's the he thing had like with a girls. Little dad bought little yeah. dad stomach. I thought it was hot, and some chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's so easy. That's chicken. the thing that like gets a lot of guys. It's so easy for like girls to make fun of guys' legs, and they just have to take and their it. hairline. Yeah, and their hairline. I have one beauty mark here, and, and it has a long hair. <laughs> like sometimes it, it's been this long. Once I'm like, I do like, not believe you. I, I do swear not, to Bob. I, I, I swear to Bob. I swear. Okay, That's do you guys agree sad. with this? That like with girls, it's kind of yeah, we get a lot of like bullying when it comes to like our bodies. But for men, I feel like they really have to take it. Like you're short. You have maybe like a small front butt, as you call it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> things of that nature like, or like receding like, hairline to, but Wait, can, short I, can I say we something yeah. you no but men get eyes. it really bad if they're short I, I feel know, like I like right I'm, you know I'm not gonna, I'm which you shouldn't which, man because I like, like short guys do you like short guys yeah I you like, date oh, short you guys are she's short, short. <laughs> What's the shortest yeah, you dated, like, Ivana? <laughs> I feel like I'm six feet, but you're, apparently you're I'm five. literally not. What's the okay, shortest you've dated? What's the shortest you've dated? Five seven. How tall are you? Five six. Five seven. Five, six. How tall are you? Five, five three, three. Right? You're five. That's five, that's two. right there in the neighborhood. She's right. That's like her. That's yeah. like me. Five six. But dating no, someone. I, can I say something? I dated a guy yeah. that was shorter than me, and he had Napoleon complex. It would make me. No, look, I'm not even trying to be funny. No, he was mean as hell. He wouldn't let me wear heels. He told me I couldn't be a teacher. He said you think that Damn. you're all the, yeah, he, yo, he was and then you love this person you're like yo i love you why are you dragging and like for Wait, a long you, time it's he made thing. me feel like i was ugly and then one day I, I know this sounds crazy but i looked up i was like i don't think i'm as ugly as he's making me out to be and like sometimes men will look this this might sound like polarizing but men will have will gaslight you so that you don't feel so that, better mm -hmm. so you can stay with them he was so mean to me you think so he was so like i would say that was a mentally abusive relationship it was bad. Do you it think? Seems like it. Do you yeah, think that guys it. like how like how you just said you like short guys? I said yeah, I did. Do you think that do? Do you think guys like think that about short girls? Like oh, she's short. I no, they, I think they, they want to be able to pick her up. I think the yeah. opposite. I think sometimes men don't want to date someone that's taller than them. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, how tall are you in real life? So will I get you that date someone? Back sometimes. <laughs> Would you date someone yeah. that's taller than you? Uh, Cancelled. <laughs> Sorry. No, be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Uh, Probably not. Exactly. Why? What, what is it? That is, is it demasculating? Crazy. I think it's, uh, I guess, a little bit demasculating, but that's like my, like, yeah, my cheesemo rooted culture. It's so funny because I think the opposite. But I, I have I feel seen, like, like, beautiful women, like, beautiful tall women. There's a lot of them. But if I was a short guy and a tall Sorry. girl was open to dating me? I would be like, damn, Ooh, I'm down. you couldn't tell me nothing. Really? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. you guys are a whole lot One of my of best friends, she's like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and her man, I think he's, he's got to be like 5'7", five, 5'6". Five, 
they look bomb together. Really? And he loves his girl. Would you the date ring, a guy shorter than The you? ring he put on her finger is, is tall is enough. big enough, okay? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. Would you date a guy way shorter than you? Like, way shorter than no, you? No, sweetie. No, okay. She, no. <laughs> like a six tree I like to climb girl. trees, you know? Okay, thank you. That's <laughs> where I'm at. I, I, I love tall men. I That's think, just my type, though. That's my I, type. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to sh- um, size. What's that thing? Height shame height anybody. Shame. I'm not height shaming. It's <laughs> yeah. just it's not height shaming. No, yeah, no. you're allowed to have a preference. Yeah. yeah I, preference. I think that as women, we're actually way more understanding about guys' bodies than then they, they are. They no, think I, that we are. You know, I like, have, you know I, what I mean? I think that we accept them if they're like, oh, we're chubby. We're like, not, and we're like you're okay, not chubby. That's you're why there's such a thing as a dad bod. Why isn't there such thing as like a mom bod? Like that's just not acceptable, yeah, right? It's like, and we're the ones giving birth. Right, we're the ones doing all the work. I think that guys don't realize that we like them no matter what like we i like love my men like, a little I, chubby I, I, I love i love a little chub i love i, I love it i love a little love everything I, I think i love who they are as people and that makes them attractive to me i love like a viking just like tall strong, big strong. all around wood chopper wood like mm. just chop I did some wood outside. a guy who had like a little pudge one time and when he like walked across the room i was like you didn't like I it? Like it. Yeah, I like it. But I had to like just switch it in my head. And then once I did, I was over I it. But in the it. moment for that one, like, I don't mind it. a thick boy. Like, yeah. I, I do. Too. I, I love, think it's cute. I don't really, I don't want to date someone that's super into working out because you're going to hold me accountable. Oh you're yeah. going to get my fucking nerves. <laughs> Wait, and that's funny you yeah, say don't, that. Don't, yeah. don't be coming to me with that gym shit. Like, I like someone that's like, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Walk the dogs <laughs> to the ice cream place. Yes. <laughs> yes. I just don't want to, like, I'd be so, like, you ever dated someone you have to pretend to like their hobbies? And that shit is a lot to keep up with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I, think I dated a guy that, that really liked video I games. I was not into it. I think I convinced person, myself that I liked it. Yeah. yeah. I dated a guy that was really into the gym, and we would have dates in the gym. I'm like, I did lose a lot. Oh, that's awful. That sounds awful. I lost 20 pounds. You started pounds. liking it for a little bit? Yeah, but I was like, yo, we're going to the gym again? Can we go what to What I'm dinner? attracted to is, like, someone that wants to take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. In any yeah. in any capacity. Like, it doesn't, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be, I don't want... I, perfect ad but you're someone who who cares about themselves yeah i agree with that i couldn't date somebody that just neglects themselves but i did date a football player in college so he was like usc football player i mean like when we would cuddle i was like cuddling a rock i would lay on him or i would like you know put my arm around his stomach and it would just did you like it no i didn't (laughs) and it took me it took me months to get used to because the guy before him was not Not like that and then like when i was cuddling him i'm like this is so like it's not even comfortable for me and i know like that's just my preference i like a little bit of you know i'm curious if your type has like the confidence to approach you I don't think my because type does. you look like a trophy wife, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and I'm Stop. curious if because the, the type of guys you like seem very like wholesome, like, mm. yeah. like grounded, yeah. family, and like don't family. worry about certain things. You know, yeah. when I try to convince my dad to work out, my dad's a mechanic. He's like, "We just I'm moving my body all my day long." My dad is yeah. like, "You're right." Thing. I'm like, "That's so right." And it's like I don't question him about his body no more. Yeah, the guy I'm kind of like, mm. kind of like, kind of talking to right now. He's like built houses like he moves around Ooh. he's bigger not like big but you know yeah. he's bigger like my type and like tall and i'm like okay i like this because he's moving around mm-hmm. you know like he's active he can fix anything on a home mm-hmm. he can you know do plumbing electric i love that mm-hmm. i like i love a man that's just like i'm gonna handle it yeah, like exactly. i got Same, this girl i love a right? problem solver yeah, problem so i'm gonna just sit here i love and a critical thinker <laughs> i need to i need to redefine my type my type is not working out for me so oh. I, I need to go back to the drawing board and be like, okay, what? I'm. I, I think right now I'm ready to step outside of my comfort zone. Like I'm really mm-hmm. used to dating guys from New York mm-hmm. that have a lot of trauma and don't want to commit. <laughs> trauma everywhere. I, that's, girl. No, that's I know, New York I, energy though. I, LA will do it to you. It'll open your yeah, horizons. I think like, the guys here are so nice. Like mm-hmm. I, there was a guy that came up to me. I wasn't gonna talk to him, but he's like, hey, I think you are really gorgeous, and I couldn't leave without telling you that. I've Aww. never got that in New York. Really? Never? Not, maybe I'm just exaggerating. But anyways, okay. I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> I, wanna, I feel like I, in New York, they cat call on. They're very, like, Oh, yeah, upfront. that's how you know you're Yeah, but that's different. Day. You you're pretend like, like that doesn't even exist, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, the guys, some guy told me the other day that I'm, he said, yo soy un monumento. So I was walking, it was in oh. Dykeman. He's like, tu eres un monumento, which means oh. you're a monument. Oh, my God. And that I said, yeah. Like, compliment. your mama raised a, you right. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. You are a monument, yeah. for and sure. And the last guy that I was seeing, even though he is a, dick um <laughs> he did say i was telling him like you know i'm having insecure he's such a horrible person but he's a scorpio um and i just put my business out there but anyways so he did no some, i'm putting all the pieces together from yeah each don't worry you got the behind the scenes i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. find him one day yeah, yeah. yeah. I, i'll show you pictures since you got exclusive uh, yes. but um i was telling him i'm having insecurities in my body right now he's like no like you're a grown woman like you have mm-hmm. a woman's body 
And like his Ooh. compliment just made me feel like I was Girl, a that I sentence that. alone just changed the game for me when I like just like a year ago when I was like, wait, I'm 33 years old. You know what I'm like I need to have yeah. that's my body. I'm a grown woman now. You're and that woman. has done like wonders for me because of like growing up a certain weight and then deviating from it with in my family. Like if if you gain one pound, they're like, yeah. damn, tu ta comiendo. Bro, like, no. like, I, the one that I hate the most when your family tu ta fuerte. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's literally four, four, you guys, four <laughs> days ago, I was with a friend. And he was like, oh, your, your arms are so strong. But they and are. I, no, no, no. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And then, then he said something like, but that shirt, it, it doesn't, it, it, I was wearing a shirt that's kind of like this. Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, that, that shirt makes your arms like too look full. And I literally. He said no. that? I didn't get offended. Like, I, I didn't get like, offended. Like, thankfully, you've done the work on yourself because yeah. that would mess someone up. Yeah, but I was just like, yeah, whatever. But I changed my shirt. Yeah. You're like, like, I don't like, care, I, but you did I change. I want him. I changed because I want him to feel comfortable around me because I don't want him to think that I'm going to beat him up. But at the oh. same time. <laughs> Wait, like, because I will. So, so, yeah, no, right. I was, he said I look so strong. But it wasn't. And you, normally in my head, I've done too much work that I think strong is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, I think being strong is a beautiful thing. Yeah, your body's capable. That I, it didn't mm -hmm. affect me. But yeah. if it was anybody else, I'm sure that it, then that, 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 that would have really mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. them feel bad, you know? Wait, mm -hmm. I have a question. It's a little spicy. Do you have a favorite part of, like, a, if you're into guys, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite part of um, the male anatomy? Like, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is the Cupid's bow. So I'm very, I know this sounds very specific. You're a kisser. You're a little kisser. Yeah, so like oh, a lot really of cute. like Caribbean men have like a very oh, yeah, deep. Oh, yeah, Like Rihanna. Oh, yeah, like my Rihanna. God. Mm -hmm. it's, like I know Rihanna that is so cute. simple, but it really like, that's, you know how that's you feel so about. That's so cute. Oh, my God. What do I care that's about? How I feel, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel about the cute people. What about you, Ivana? How about you? <laughs> 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 Let me, I yeah. We know what she likes. So let's just give it a covering <laughs> from the last session. <laughs> okay, I like I like a beard. Oh, a beard. Oh, yeah, a beard like a just a beard, mm -hmm. just like a that. nice, fully grown. But like a clean, beard. One? like Hagrid. No, some people oh. like. <laughs> Ew. Like, <laughs> like one of those like motor, like, you know, like those biker men with like the, mm -hmm. you know, how their beard. No, def I like it clean cut. Mm -hmm. Just, you know. Right there, the scruff. I need the scruff. I, I need like, the facial I like hair. A smile. Like a smile. Smile. The eyes. Okay, you know what gets me is like kind eyes on a very masculine man. Just like kind you eyes. You know though. who my number one is? Do you know is? what I mean? Okay, yeah, who's, who's your hall pass? Right? Who's your hall pass? My hall pass? Oh, I don't like any celebrities right now. But I would date, um, what's that guy that was Chad Michael Murray? I always thought he was oh fine as shit. Yeah. Chad <laughs> Michael you still Murray. Think my yeah. number yeah. one. Maybe you do yeah. like white guys. Yeah, you know Dominicans then. No, I think I have reached my limit with. I, I will always love my culture, mm -hmm. but I think I just am not going to marry a Dominican man at mm -hmm. this point in my life. Mm -hmm. It might change in two years, but right now I'm ready to, to try something different. Yeah, well, what's your, what's your, you're Colombian. expanding your I'm I agree. <laughs> you're expanding yeah. your, that's yeah. what happened to me. I dated only like Mexicanos for the most part. Now yeah. I'm like, we're expanding the horizons. Girl. I might even, I might date a Mexican too. I've never dated a Mexican man. Mm -hmm. Colombian. What I've been looking up there. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, I think, are we, are we wrapping up? Yeah. It's what? been an hour already? There's no Wait, way no, it has now. not. You guys what? Are <laughs> you guys, we have to wrap up. We started. Wait, can we can we do the? Can I feel we like do, we were still on block A. Yeah. yeah. Wait, can we do? <laughs> can we do one of the wind down questions before we wrap up? Okay. What's the wind down okay. question? So, how do you feel about hair? Hair on your body, and then what's what's the takeaway you got from this? Everybody, go around. How do you feel yeah. about your hair on your body? I laser it away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Laser away. How about you? Yeah, I I, I take care of my hair. Mm. I feel like lately I've been getting like little tiny hairs on my beard. I mean, wait. not a beard, on my chin. <laughs> wait a minute, and it's that's pissing me off. Wait, it's hold on, that's that means crazy. You, your wisdom is growing. Yeah. Yeah. I do, you guys, do you guys get them? I don't. But I don't. I do. I get the same two. Right I have. Now. I have a hair. I have one. I have one beauty mark here, and and it has long hair. <laughs> Like sometimes yeah. it's been this long. One time no. I, I swear to God, my uncle There's was like, no way. my uncle no. one day. This is like five years ago. It hasn't gone back yet. But my Ivana. uncle was like, Ivana. I was like, what? His hand was here, here. I was like, what? <laughs> Ivana, <laughs> I do not believe you. I, I swear not, to Bob. I, I, I swear to Bob. I swear. Maybe Wait, it was because your hair is so long and you wear it forward, you didn't notice no, this it. This is where my wisdom's coming from. This little mole right here. Wait, oh, but oh, the please, hair, Ivana, please. No, you guys, it was this long. 
Wait, seriously. I have it in a jar. I always talk to it in for good luck. Wait. You Anyways, say, next. <laughs> she's lying. I'm going to bring it next time. Let's, I don't believe okay. you. I don't believe this whole story. <laughs> I don't, okay. believe, I don't believe any part of this what's story. There's no way a hair from your neck grows in here. Away, what's one takeaway you got from this combo? I know that we had to speed up towards it. And I, had a, I really enjoyed this combo. That was probably the fastest yeah. podcast five, I've ever five, had in my life. Maybe because of this. Can so we do a part two? So can we do a part two? <laughs> no, but the truth is, the takeaway is like what's the takeaway? The energy that we feel now is like uh, how everybody should feel about their bodies. It's like it's ebbs and flows, ups and downs. You yeah. learn to live it. You sometimes you hate it. You grow out of it. But mm. at the end of the day, like you gotta live with it. So make it a good home. I yeah. like that. I like that. The way I feel is like we have a soul, and that's who we are. And this is just the vessel. Mm -hmm. If we could take care of it as much as we can, there's things you can't control. Temple. It's a temple. No. Mm. What I took away from temple. it is that I think we're all beautiful. Thank you. Thank beautiful. you so much. Cheers to that. Cheers Where's to everybody? Beautiful. Beautiful. Francesca, as your thank you, Francesca. For first episode yeah, first here. Episode. What did you take away? When are you gonna come back? Did you like? Did you like it? Do, first of all, yeah, did you fly by. You know, one thing to meet, see people on the internet, and then you meet them in real life, and sometimes it's disappointing. You're like, yes. oh, don't bring me back. You're like, bring but this me was back. like the opposite from really? beginning to end. It's Yay. just been, and like I figured it would be because I have so much fun watching it. Aww. Um, but I think also like as a Latina growing up and like as a woman that's constantly healing herself, the conversations you guys have on this show are just so appreciated as a listener. So, Wait, shout out to cheers, you. guys. Cheers to us. That was cheers beautiful. This episode. Had a great time. I'm Glorelis. I'm Jessica. I'm Ivana. And I'm Francesca Gramonte. And, and this, this is Girl, Let, let me, me Tell You. you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>